what's going on guys Johnny with Blazer Grass Long Care and in this video we're going to talk about how to maximize your profit minimize your labor costs and get more done with less people on your commercial properties now the first thing I do is look at the cylinder cut on all my shrubs the cylinder cut is a cut that anyone can get in there and do any amateur brand new spanking guy that you pick up can do this cut and if they do mess up you can easily fix it it is quick easy you don't have to worry about a box you don't have to worry about a circle just up and down and straight across the top simple plain straightforward now the other thing that I do is I put growth regulator on all my shrubs and the one that I like to use mostly is cutless and there's a link to the product in uh, my Amazon store in this video description and this product is a granular product that you have to water into the soil but I usually just put about a quarter of a cup per shrub and let the rain take care of it these are lower petalums and everyone knows that lower petalums grow extremely fast especially in the summer and spring and uh, utilizing cutlass I am trimming these shrubs every three four months instead of trimming them every month so that is a way that I cut personnel costs when it comes to labor at the commercial properties and some of our residential as well by utilizing the shrub growth regulator all right so that was pretty fast now let's move on to the grassy area guys when it comes to my lawns especially the commercial properties I usually use Tinex or uh, the Anderson's uh, governor granule growth regulator again look in the video description in my Amazon store and there is a bag of this uh, growth regulator and one thirty-four pound bag covers twenty thousand square feet. Okay, and what it does is that it minimizes my weekly mowing, and sometimes I go every three weeks or during the growing season every two weeks. Now, keeping in mind that my commercial properties, like this one right here. I don't have any issues with anyone stating about the grass it hasn't been mowed the place look raggedy because the only time your commercial property uh, managers are going to call you well me anyway is when the place is starting to look raggedy and unkept so this right here is a uh, federal property I got maintaining and I'm trying to get this ditch right now I'm just hitting this ditch because it's winter time and I can get to it usually it's, it is full of water right now I'm kind of sort of sinking and I can't get all the way through and uh, but I'm hitting it up with the uh, steel FS 111 RX which is only like 11 pounds and this uh, trimmer gives you 30% more run time than the FS 100 RX so I kind of like this steel 111 RX when it comes to uh, my gas power trimmers I've been using this one for about good two years but uh, yes guys let me tell you um, growth regulators are great for certain properties ensure that you're trying them out in locations where uh, you can try them out first do not put them uh, on your shrubs when uh, the sun is blazing I usually put them on early in the morning and like for instance with the uh, granular growth regulator on the turf I just put it out first thing in the morning and let the rain take care of it when it comes to how much product to use please make sure that you read the label all right guys so um 
we're gonna have to call it quit here because as you can tell I can barely walk um, and I didn't bring my, my rubber boots and uh, that's too, it's too soggy so I just have to uh, continue <clears throat> later on all right oh, let me get out the sun have a blessed one thank you for taking the time to watch my videos share like subscribe see you on the next one hope this content is useful i smoke peace